Welcome to Future Doctor Neat Academy. Today I am going to solve seven problems in solution chapter. Let us see the first question in the chapter. See that the vapor pressure of two liquids P and Q are 80 and 60 torr respectively. The total pressure, total vapor pressure of the solution obtained by mixing 3 mole of P and 2 mole of Q towards R. We have to find out the total pressure only we have to find out. Okay. So here simply you know dot and of partial pressure you know that. So P total is equal to simply you know that is P total. This is a formula no. P total is equal to what? Um, partial pressure of here we have two things are there now. Partial pressure of you know P into you know mole fraction. Understood? Mole fraction of P plus what? Partial pressure of Q. You know partial pressure of Q into mole fraction of Q. This is a formula. It's a formula for total pressure no. Okay. Right. You, you just substitute as it is you know. So partial pressure is given. Partial pressure of you know P is what? 80 you know. So 80 is given here. Just substitute into you know mole fraction means what? Mole fraction here you know uh, mole fraction of uh, suppose here P means here mole fraction of P. Okay. So here total moles is you know. 3 plus 2, there are 5 moles. No, first, uh, you know, mole fraction of P only we want means 3 by 3 by, okay, 3 by 5. Understood? Plus, you know, Q, Q only, no, Q is called, you know, vapor pressure. Here in this place, we can substitute what? 60. You just substitute as it is simple. Okay, then into mole fraction. Mole fraction of Q, no, if you want Q means 2 by 5. So, 2 by 5, you just substitute, that's all. Okay, understood? Now, if you simplify means, we can get answer. Understood? You know that this is what? So, approximately, you know, this is, you know, 1 times, you know, this will be what? 16 times and this is you know one time this will be what 12 times so now if you add together you know 48 no this will be 48 plus what you know this will be what uh 12 into 2 you know 24 understood so if you add together we get what uh nearly 72 torr 72 there's a torr is the unit of pressure you know so this answer are you following simply remember this formula is very important that's all remember the formula you know this formula nothing the partial total pressure is equal to partial pressure into mole fraction understood right Next one, the Van der factor for a dilute aqueous solution of strong electrolyte barium hydroxide. It's a strong electrolyte. They mentioned strong electrolyte. Okay. So simply strong electrolyte means you know what's a formula here? General formula is, is there? You know, uh, alpha is equal to you know i i minus one by n minus one. It's a formula. General formula. Okay. De this is called degree of dissociation. It's called Van der factor. It's called number of ions. Okay. You know that so barium hydroxide. No, so barium hydroxide. When you put in water, what happens? So barium hydroxide. Okay. So it, if you put in water, you know it forms what? You know it's a strong electrolyte. So no, no need to put this one. Okay. So it's a strong electrolyte. No. So it is split into Ba, Ba two plus and two OH minus. Understood? Okay. So how many ions it produces? It, it produces three ions. No. So one barium ion, two OH minus ion. Okay. It's a strong electrolyte means it's a strong electrolyte means what? We consider alpha is what? One. Understood? Alpha is one. So you substitute therefore what? So one which is equal to I minus one by number of ions is what? One plus one plus two, you know, three, three minus one. So therefore what? Cross multiplication, you know, you know, will be what? Uh, this is two, the two it one, you know. So two which is equal to you know I minus one. Therefore, I is equal to what? You know, two plus one, this is what? Three. Three is the answer. So what? Three is the answer. Understood? Are you following? Okay. The general formula just keep in mind it's a formula for that okay right alpha is equal to i minus 1 by n minus 1 okay next one the vapor pressure of a solvent decreased by 10 millimeter of mercury decreased by so decreased by means you know the differences okay when uh when it is decreasing when non volatile solute was added to the solvent okay then mole fraction of the solute in the solution is what 0 0.2 okay so here you can use what lowering a vapor pressure formula you know that um what's the formula you know p naught minus p by P naught is equal to what? X2. Understood? So, so when decreased, decreased means you know the lowering of pressure is given. So P naught minus P is equal to, you know, in this case I put 10 by okay. So P naught we don't know, then only I put naught, which is equal to what? You know, see more fraction of solid or uh, solid solvent solvent means we can consider what? Solvent means we can consider x1, more fraction of solvent. This is okay. If you have solid means what? You can consider mole fraction of you know one is considered as a solvent, two is considered as a solute. Just remember. So here mole fraction of solute, no. So solute means you know so here is given 0 0.0.2. It's a formula, it's a it's a formula. This formula just keep in mind. Okay, right. Therefore, what? Therefore, what? You know, P naught is equal to you know so what 10 by 0.2. Understood. So it will be what? Nearly 50, 50 millimeter of mercury. Okay. This is the first part of the sum. Next one is what should be the mole fraction of the solvent? What what should be the mole fraction of the solvent? Solvent means we have to find out what X1. I told you no. One refers solvent. Okay. If the decrease in vapor pressure of the to be 20 millimeter of mercury. So same thing. So this is this considered the first part of the sum. See second part. Okay, right. Here same formula you, know, you can use. P naught minus P by P naught is equal to what? You know, as usual, X2. Okay. So here, you know, decrease in decrease in vapor pressure, no? Decrease in vapor pressure. So in, in this place, you can put what? You know 20 understood by okay p naught just now just now only we found out this is 50 no so you put 50 then we can find out what x2 value okay so this will be what this will be what you know you know therefore you know this will be what is it is record cancel it 2 by 5 means 0 0.4 is it so therefore 
I write it here. Therefore, what? X2 is equal to 0 0.4. Understood? Are you following? Understood? So, but they are asking what? What should be the mole fraction of the solvent? Solvent only they are asking, you know. Okay, so you know, just, just we know the we know the general formula. We know x1 plus x2 is equal to what? You know, one. Understood. Therefore, what they are asking to find only x1. So x1 nothing but you know one minus okay one minus here x2 x2 is what 0 point 0 point 0.4. So 0 point 0.4 means one. You know that what 0 point 0.6. Understood. Understood. The answer is what 0 point 0.6 is the answer. Are you following? Understood. You just compare this this formula. Just remember very easy sum. Okay, right. Decrease in vapor pressure means this is a lowering of vapor pressure. Understood. Right. Next one, fourth one, 0 0.1 molal aqueous solution of weak acid. So weak acid is not a strong rate, right? it's weak acid. So 30% only ionized. Okay. The KF is given, then freezing point of the solution will be asked. They are asked. Okay. So here, what's the general formula? Of, you know, this one, uh, depression of freezing point. Depression of freezing point means what's the formula? Del TF is equal to what? You know, ionized, no. 50% ionized, 40% ionized means you can introduce what? Mantle factor, I. Better not. Then KF. Then no M. M. Molality. So here KF is given no. So KF is what? What is KF here? Freezing point constant no. So 1.86, isn't it? 1.86 into molality is also given no. 0 point, 0 point 0.1. Better not. Okay. Right. I only 30 percent ionized no. So here this is we can change 30 percent means here. What's the formula for I means here? You just remember this is equal to you know um, alpha is equal to you know I know. So I, I is equal to one plus alpha you just remember one plus alpha one plus alpha okay so here one plus you know yeah yeah alpha nothing but degree of dissociation okay 30 percent is only ionized so 30 percent ionized means what 30 by you know 100 understood okay right this will be what cancel one okay totally what 1.3 percentage so just multiply 1.3 understood the following now if you multiply all these means we can we can get what uh i know the value then i put if you multiply we get 0 0.24 you will be getting understood but the question is what Freezing point of the solution. Solution here. This is delta uh, decrease in freezing point only we found out. Yeah, but what's up? You know, we know delta T F is equal to you know uh, T naught minus T. Okay, you substitute here. Here, therefore, zero point two four equal to you know T naught. I think what freezing point of the you know water we considered. Okay, zero minus you know T. T only we have to find out solution. Freezing point of the solution. Okay, so T naught means what? T naught means what? It's a freezing matter of the solvent. Understood? T naught nothing but what? Freezing matter of the solution. Understood? Right. So solution only they are asking. T is equal to so you just interchange. Okay. So it will be what? So if you if interchange means you will be getting minus 0 0.24 degrees Celsius. Understood? Right. This will be answer. D is the correct one. Understood? Right. Next one. Fifth one. 0 0.15 gram of solid dissolving 15 gram of solvent is boiled at temperature of temperature higher higher by higher by means you know uh, elevation of boiling you know it's a no more elevation no so change in uh, elevation of boiling point is given how much uh, boiling point is elevated that's given then the pure solvent the molecular mass okay we have to find out the molecular mass so here the boiling point uh, formula is you know del the formula del tb equal is equal to what you know kb into w2 by the formula formula just keep in mind otherwise you can't do anything okay okay right kb is given you know what's the kb here okay Okay, the molar they are asking for uh, you know KB is what 2.16. Just substitute as a simple one, you just substitute as it is 2.16 into WT is what 2. Just remember 1 is always considered mass of the solvent. Understood? 2 is always considered mass of the solute. Okay, so here this is called solute. No, solute. So W2. Understood? So 0 0.0.15. Okay, into you know as usual 1000 is there. Okay, right by you know M, M2. M2 um, we don't know. That's only we have to find out. So M2 as it is. Then W1 dissolving. You know solvent. No solvent. Root w1. So what? So this is 15. Better not 15. So you know they just rearrange. More, you know that uh, higher by. You know the J elevation of boiling point. How much elevated? 0 0.216. Okay. So this is given. So 0 0.216 degree. Understood? Everything is given. We have to rearrange. We can find out. Okay. Simply. Uh, so therefore what? M2 is equal to 2.16 into 0 0.15 into 1000 by you know 0 0.216 into 15. Understood? Right. That's all. After that, if you simplify means you can get the answer. You know, this will be what? How many times? This will be 10 times. Cut or not? This will be what? This will be one time. This will be 100 times. Understood? Right. That's all. Now you can simplify, you know, this 0, this 0 can be, this all will be cancelled. Then we have two zeros there. So answer is what? Answer is what? 100. So M2 is what? M2 is equal to what? 100. So is there no answer? So B is the correct one. So mostly, 
they'll give they'll this type of sums, sums they will give only uh, it will be easy to cancel okay so just remember the formula formula is very, very important you know the formula you can use to solve this you, you should remember what is uh, what is solvent means the one is also always considered solvent two is always considered solute okay right that's all next one 10 gram 10 gram per deci decimeter cube decimeter cube means you know one liter 10 gram in one liter okay of urea molar mass is given is isotonic with isotonic means we should compare with five percent solution of non-volatile solute so molecular mass of the non-volatile solute they are asking okay um, Nothing but you know, we compare the two molarity, that's all. Okay, suppose here uh, urea, urea, how much is given? 10 gram, 10 gram urea in 1 liter. Okay, so just remember the formula will be concentrate, just con compare the concentration, that's all, simply. C is equal to N by V. Here N is nothing but number of moles, no. Number of moles here, uh, number of moles, what's the formula? Mass by molar mass. So mass is what? You know, 10 gram, 10 gram mass by molar mass. Urea, no, molar mass what? By 60. It is present 1 liter, no. So just leave it one liter now, just one, which is equal to compare. You just compare. Okay. By five percent. Five percent means what? What's it mean for five percentage? Five percent means what? Five gram in five gram in hundred ml. That is very, very important. That's called five percent solution. Okay. So five gram. So we five gram now. So mass by molar mass. Molar mass we don't know. So I, I put m as it is. Okay. By five percent in what? How many ml? Hundred ml. No. This is one liter. Then I put one. But, but, but this is hundred ml means what? Hundred by Thousand understood the following okay. Now uh, just we compare that's all. Then what zero to cancel? We have only one by six understood. You now it will be you know uh, rearrange it will be what <coughs> zero to cancel. You know this will be one by one by ten. When it goes numerator here, you can write what 50, 50 by molecular mass. Can you write can you write like this now? Cross multiplication okay 15 to 6 m into 1. So therefore, what therefore m is equal to understood 50 into. 6 nothing but what 300 are you following 300 gram per mole understood this answer understood right next one next one free simple depression constant kf is given kf is given 5.12 the free simple depression for the solution of the molality molality is given so molality is given kf is given okay right okay free simple depression for the okay so free simple depression free simple depression means you know what's the formula general formula del tf okay which is equal to what okay uh kf yeah kf into Simple KF into M. This is a formula. So KF is given, you know. What is the KF? You know, so is 5.12, which is into molarity is what? What's the molarity? 0 0.078. Understood? Right. You just multiply that's all. If you multiply means we are, will be getting this value. You know that generally I'm writing so it goes on. 0 0.39. So which is near, nearly equal to what? 0 0.40 Kelvin. Understood? So these are the sums in solution, very important sums in solution chapter. I hope I understood everything. Okay. Right. Thank you, students.